Hi everyone. So this video will learn how to get Unix timestamp using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. We need one div element, one button, text will be get. We need one h1 element and text will be result. Now just save this, go to style sheet, select div element, display will be flex, flex direction will be column, align items will be center. Select the button, padding will be 10 pixels and 20 pixels margin top will be 10 pixels so I just save this open this file in the browser and this is the output now let's try to understand how to actually work on the click of this get button I want to display a timestamp here so let's go to script file select the button which is get so it will be document dot query selector button Select H1 element, let's make it result. Add event listener to the button. And the event will be click. This will be the handler function. There are multiple ways to get a timestamp. So first way is using a date object. So let's do it. Create a variable current timestamp. We make use of date object here, and there is a method get time. This will give you the current timestamp in milliseconds. So let's set the inner text for the H1 element. Save it. Go to browser. Click, and this is the timestamp in milliseconds. If you want to get this in seconds, then you have to divide it by 1000 like this. Save it, go to browser, click, and this is the output. You can see we are getting a decimal here. To get rid of it, we have to make use of math.floor function like this. Sorry for that. Save it, click, and this is the output. The other way of getting a timestamp is using a unary operator so just copy and paste it here we don't need this get time method we'll simply add a plus sign here and we'll get the timestamp just save it go to browser and this is the output the third way of getting a current timestamp is making use of now method so on the state object we have a method now you save it, go to browser, click, and this is the output. So these are the three ways which you can use to get the current timestamp using JavaScript. I hope you got the point, how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.